What's up YouTube? So today I'm going to be talking about uh, macro-friendly foods. So I know a lot of people are cutting right now because it's going to be summertime soon and before you know it everyone's going to be out on the beach in their bikinis and you want to look good. So dieting is hard for anyone and everyone and some questions I get is what foods are like really filling or good alternatives to this or that. So I'm just going to go over some of my favorite macro friendly foods with you guys. So the first thing that I want to show you is like breakfast stuff. So a lot of breads are high carb. Um, but I really like the Sarah Lee Delightful 45 Calorie Per Slice Spread and the macros for two slices of these are pretty awesome. It's one gram of fat, uh, 18 carb, and six protein and that's really good. Typically one slice of bread is 18 carb or more. So you can have double the amount of bread for the same amount of carbs or less. So if you're on a lower carb diet or just in lower carbs in general and you want to have bread, I highly recommend that one. So another like breakfast idea is a lot of people are like, how do you eat oatmeal because it's so gross, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, first off, there is this um, oatmeal company that's been talked about quite a lot I feel like actually so you might already know it but it is better oats and um, so this is the maple and brown sugar flavor it is so good one packet is 18 carbs and um, typically like a regular um, serving of oatmeal is 27 grams of carbs. You're getting 9 grams of carbs less, which is good, and it tastes way better than regular oatmeal, so definitely check that out if you're trying to make your oatmeal taste better, because that one is so good. I gave it to actually one of my personal training clients, because she was one of the people who asked me, like, how do you eat oatmeal? It's so gross. I gave her some packets of those, so those are really good. Okay, um, for snacks, I love Quaker rice cakes. So this is the caramel Quaker rice cakes. And yeah, yeah. And um, there's only 11 carbs per rice cake. And it tastes so amazing, you guys. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of like caramel popcorn, actually. Um, so yeah, those are really good, and there's no high fructose corn syrup in it, so that's good. And so, yeah, it's a completely guilt-free snack. I love those, and I'm actually, there's, I don't have them actually right now. I need to restock on those, but if you've ever heard of Susie Thin Cakes, those are another, um, rice cake company that I think three rice cakes and they're they're thinner and smaller but three rice cakes are only 12 or 11 grams of carbs so that's another good one that I really like so yeah there's those and then okay adding this seasoning is life-changing it's Trader Joe's everything but the bagel uh, sesame seasoning blend and I love this what's really interesting to me is it says that there's no fat, there's no carbs, there's no protein. However, then it says fourth a teaspoon is five calories. I'm like, where is that coming from? Like, what are you not telling us? Kind of pisses me off, but whatever. Um, obviously, if you're adding this, it's really not going to add barely anything at all to your food. So, like, adding this on your, like, chicken or turkey or a slice of bread of that Sara Lee bread with like a tablespoon of Philadelphia a third of the fat cream cheese and then this on top it's gonna taste like an everything bagel so 
So highly recommend you try that because that is such a good combo. Okay. So next thing is if you are cutting your fat macros and so you're getting lower on fat and you're like, like me who absolutely loves peanut butter, there are alternatives. This is PB Fit and the macros for 12 grams of this is 1.5 fat versus like 16 grams of fat usually. 4 carb and 6 grams of protein. So this is really good. You want to be very careful when you mix it with water. Just add little by little so it doesn't get super runny when you blend it. But um, yeah, I love this stuff and tastes close to peanut butter. I wouldn't say it's the exact texture or anything, but it tastes pretty damn close. So this is really, really good. Okay, Cured Nutrition's Peanut Butter Chocolate CBD Spice, and it's so good, you guys. Like, say you're trying to cut out, like, sugary Starbucks drinks, and we all know Starbucks, their drinks can add up in calories so, so fast. So, instead, what you can do is have, make your own coffee at home. I know it's not going to be like as fun or flavorful, but this will help. I, I promise it's really good. So have your own coffee at home, then add some almond milk or coconut milk, and then add a teaspoon of this. Oh, so good. Or there's cinnamon and honey one. That one's really good too in coffee. So yeah, that's a good tip for um, cutting out like your Starbucks coffee in the morning, whatever you typically have. I mean, I haven't had Starbucks in so long, oh my gosh, and I make my own coffee every day, and you get, you get used to the taste, okay? So, yeah. So the next thing I want to show you guys is an alternative to cheese. Well, it is cheese, but it's a macro-friendly cheese. So this is the Laughing Cow cheese, and they have all different flavors. This is the Creamy Swiss garlic and herb and I've had their white cheddar and their queso cheese but honestly I really like this one the most and the macros for one wedge is 1.5 grams of fat, 1 gram of carb and 2 protein which is awesome macros for cheese okay and it tastes amazing like it is so so good so adding this to like your omelet in the morning like which is what I do or on bread or on whatever you want um yeah this is so good and there's no artificial flavors no artificial preservatives either in these which is really nice so yeah only 35 calories per wedge guys these are life-changing it's the select protein snickerdoodle um way and honestly okay so the reason why I'm showing you guys this again is these bake so well if you wanted to do um, pancakes or a waffle. So there's two different ways you can do this. Um, you can mix a scoop with a fourth a teaspoon of uh, baking powder and a fourth of teaspoon of baking soda. Or um, what I like actually better is mixing it with one egg. Yeah, you're going to use more of your fat and protein macros to do that. But, you guys, like, mixing that and making waffles or pancakes, to me, I remember one time I made protein pancakes in the morning with this snickerdoodle whey and an egg. And then later that day, I actually went out to brunch with um, a friend of mine and got some pancakes there. And I liked the Snickerdoodle Whey protein pancakes more than the cafe's pancakes. That says a lot. So, yeah, definitely try that. So you'd only, okay, the pancakes or the waffle they would have would only be one carb. And if you're using half a scoop, which you can do to have lower protein, lower carb macros, um, that would be half a carb for a full serving of pancakes or a waffle. So since I just showed you guys uh, the protein pancake and waffle mix that you can do, 
you're like, okay, well, I want to top it with syrup. Like, what should I use for that? Because syrup has extremely high carbs in them. So an alternative that I like is the Walden Farms Pancake Syrup. You guys, I like this more than regular syrup. More than regular syrup. And there's zero calories. Absolutely nothing in this for 60 grams. So definitely try this. I mean, you can get it at the vitamin shop or I get mine at QFC or Fred Meyer. So yeah. Another thing I want to add to this video is if you're dieting, uh, those are some macro friendly foods and snacks that I wanted to share with you guys. But eating whole foods is going to fill you up a lot more just because of the fiber content. So definitely make sure you're getting in your fiber when you're dieting as well. Fiber is super important and it's going to keep you full and satiated. So make sure that you are eating whole foods too when you're dieting or even, you know, not dieting. Um, fiber is important and getting your micros, getting your greens in, that's very important. So make sure you're doing that. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.